hey guys, if you're in a one, and I'm talking about Google Stadia. Why? Because it launches t tomorrow, and yet some of the features that were shown, like at the demos and the presentations, are not going to be available on day one. Now I'm not going to go through all these features that won't be there. There's seven of them. I'm just going to go through a few of the ones that I think are more important. First one is crowd play, which basically allows you to quick jump in multiplayer through a YouTube stream. Won't be integrated into games until next year. That one to me was a cool feature when I saw it. I remember seeing like them just saying, oh, you could be watching this game on a live stream and you can just quickly jump in. I'm not sure if that actually means jump into the player's game. I'm not, I don't think it means that. I think it means just jump into multiplayer in that game just by watching the live stream being like, oh, that's a cool video. And then like jumping right in, that'd be, that, I think that was a cool feature. So it's not going to be available until next year. And then another big one to me was family sharing, which basically may, means that if I had a son or a daughter or whatever, and we all have accounts and we're linked at the family account. Whatever game I buy, they also get. Yeah, that doesn't happen. They said you'll have to buy games for your child's account. Now, they do say it's going to be planned to be added on early next year. But really? You expect people to buy multiple games if they have children? No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying that they're wrong. I know that some people will probably buy the games for both them and their children because they, their children don't want to wait or don't want to share on their console or whatever they're playing it on. But I don't think Google should have said that. I shouldn't think Google should have told people, yeah, that feature's not going to be able to next year. So for now, just buy both the games for you and your kids. No, 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 no. That should not have been said. And last but not least, the most important one I think on this is that Chromecast Ultra Units are the only ones that are going to work with Google Stadia Day 1. And the update will happen soon after launch, but that's still sad. It is sad that you have to get a Chromecast Ultra if you only have a regular Chromecast. I mean, that means that you just have to wait until it launches for your regular Chromecast. So all these people who already have Google Chromecast cannot play Google Stadia games on their televisions until soon after launch. So it's just kind of sad. That's a feature I really think they should have made sure they had because that one is going to stop, I think, a lot of people from playing the, on Google Stadia on day one. But what do I think about all this as a whole? Well, first off, we know that when these apps or whatever you call them launch, they're generally buggy. Like Disney Plus just launched last week and Disney Plus really had a bad launch, I think, because people were complaining about not being able to log in, not being able to watch videos. Disney even said like they had high expectations. It even surpassed their high expectations. So I'm glad that Google is kind of getting this stuff out now because let's face it, nowadays a lot of these apps launch and they're dead buggy on day one and they have all these fixes and all these patches. But Google Stadia is telling us in advance, these are not even going to be there on day one. So to me, it kind of makes me feel like they are trying to get these right, like all these features, they're trying to get them right before releasing them instead of just releasing them buggy and then releasing a bunch of patches and fixes and everything as time goes on. So that's kind of good to me that they actually basically like, we need more time to actually get these working. But at the same time, if you were a person that were sold to Google Stadia based on a lot of these, or at least even one of these features, it's sad that like day one and most of these won't be available to next year. Yes, it's the end of the year, but next year is a broad thing. It could be next year, December or next year, January. We don't know. So I am glad that Google released this early, even though it's only a few days before it releases. I'm glad they at least didn't just wait till launch day. But at the same time, this kind of sucks. You got seven features that were shown in demos, shown in presentations, Features that people may have been dead excited for that are not going to be there on day one. And most will not even be there till next year. So even if it's there next year, January, that's still one and a half months. These features that people may have been sold on, which are not going to be available on day one. But what do you guys think about this? Are any of these features the features that you were dead excited for for Google Stadia? Would any of these missing features day one cause you not to buy Google Stadia on day one? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.